It's hard to imagine a world with no possessions, right? We all have possessions, or things that are important to us. For example, most people never leave home without their keys, phone, and some money. What about you? What are the things you always carry with you? Maybe this? These? Or these? Now look at these people. Before he leaves in the morning, Paul always takes his wallet, his coat, and his sunglasses with him. Anne wants to look good. So, she needs her comb, her lipstick, and her purse to carry these things with her. Now, look at the different words for the objects where people carry their things. These are Paul's wallet and Anne's purse. Great. Now, if you travel a lot, you also need to take other things with you. First of all, you need a bigger bag. A suitcase. We put our clothes and bigger items in it. One more time, we pronounce it suitcase. It's also important to have your ID card or identity card with you, as well as your ticket. You can keep these in your wallet or purse. Today, a person can also travel with an electronic ticket, an e-ticket on their phone. That's great, isn't it? Also, in the summer, we wear sunglasses to protect our eyes. Now, something special about this word it's always used in plural. When we want to talk about more than one such item, we do it like this. A pair of sunglasses. Two pairs of sunglasses. We add an S to the word pair. So, we can also say, There are two pairs of sunglasses on the table. Anne's and Paul's. Now, you can carry things in your bag or suitcase, but what about things you have on your body, such as sunglasses or a coat? Look at these examples. We wear sunglasses in the summer, and we wear coats in winter. We can carry clothes and documents in our bag or suitcase. The rule is that for things you have in your hand, we use carry, and for accessories and cosmetics on your body, we use wear. Here is a short story for you. Now pay attention to the verbs carry and wear. My friend was traveling by plane, but she was carrying too many things in her suitcase. It was too heavy. You know, there's a limit after all. So, she decided to wear all her clothes at the same time to pass security. Okay, now let's practice a little. First, let's repeat the words which are difficult to pronounce. Listen and look. A comb, a key, a suitcase, an ID card. And let's see what these sound like when we link words in real life. Paul often forgets his keys. Sunglasses protect our eyes. Anne needs to buy a pair of sunglasses. She always carries a box of tissues in her bag. Anne wears lipstick when she's at work. Yep, with lipstick, we also use the verb to wear. Okay, some final examples. Anne often wears lipstick, so she carries one in her purse. She also carries her comb in it. She always carries a box of tissues as well. Paul sometimes forgets his keys. Oops. But he never forgets his wallet and sunglasses. When they travel, they bring their ID cards and tickets with them. Great. So you learned some new words for personal items. You also learned the difference between carry and wear and you know how to pronounce the new words properly so that people can understand you when you travel. What about you? 
Are you planning a trip? Which personal items are you going to carry with you? Get them ready. But first, take the test after the video lesson. Go for it.